Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at World of Wheels in Milwaukee. And with that, I'm with Jim Stewart. Jim, good to see you. <clears throat> Jim, what year car, first of all, do you have? 1958 Corvette. And this one is clearly a show winner as well as a uh, beautiful car. How long have you had this one? 35 years. <laughs> Member of the family. So what, when you first got this car, why did you have to have this car? Number one, it was available. <laughs> that helps. And a friend of ours found it in a barn and called us, and that's how we, we chased it down and bought it. So from a barn, let me show you what it looks like now. So let me grab the camera, and Jim's going to stand right next to me so we can hear him. Come on with me. Take a look at our 58 show car Corvette. Now, when did the restoration start on this car? Because this car is spectacular. About 18 years. No, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you started the restoration and just kind of piece and pieced it together. When did you get to the point where you said, this is going to be a show car, we're done with it? And by the way, your wife you shared picked out the colors on this one. It's a fantastic <coughs> job. All the chrome's original, correct? Correct. It's been re everything's been redone. Tell me about these bumpers, too. We tucked the bumpers in three-eighths of an inch. Therefore, it set the grill back. And the grill's closer to being flush with the eyebrows. The upper and lower eyebrows on the grill surround. That's fantastic. And one of the things you can tell, <clears throat> excuse me, with the 58, is right off the bat is the hood. Because the hood's got this... Uh, vented look to it. It's actually fake louvers. Fake louvers, but they look great. Let me step back and take an overall look at your car. I'm going to keep going back until I can get the whole car in and let people take that in right there. Let me show those brake calipers which have the word Corvette on them. So obviously it didn't come with disc brakes at that time. So you've done all the proper structural work. Who did the work for you on all the structure? It's got an Art Morrison chassis with lowered disc brakes. Yeah. Nine inch Ford, Strang rear end. It looks fantastic. All right, let me take a look. Now, these rims in the back, I mean, uh, you've got a lot of rubber on the ground. Look at... We had to... There's my hand. How deep those dishes We are. had to tub the mini tub at an inch and a half. Okay. The car come with both the hard top and the soft top, but after we tubbed it, there's no longer room to put the hard top, the soft top in, so it's not a convertible. Anymore. Okay, so it's just purely a roadster. Now, have you done anything with the, with the, with the back bumpers? Did you tuck we, those or anything? They were tucked in, too. They're, all of them's got three-eighths of an inch gap. Okay. <clears throat> we all changed there. the exhaust outlet to funnel it. And the one thing with the 58s is they have these two spears, you call them. Elephant spears or whatever. Elephant tusk spears, I guess the different ways. But look at the way this car just shines. Wonderful. Let's take a look at inside the trunk, see what we've got. We got little toys inside the trunk for people. Well, I gotta find the keys. Oh, go ahead. While you're doing that, I'll take a look at the interior. Obviously, the custom interior there with the flags. The temp and the fuel. Give me that look. I know, Jim, you said you found the keys. I'm going to take yeah. one moment on the interior since I'm right Those here. Those are uh, classic instruments. One-off gauges. They are really nice, and they're all matching your car. Let 
the seats. Who put these seats together? They are so comfortable. Look at my fingers kind of blending in there. <clears throat> Those are modified wise guy seats. Modified wise guys. So this is where the trunk or the convertible would be. We don't have that in. Open right. the door there. I want to show where the usually there's a gas cap right here. Show me what you've done here. Because this is unique. <clears throat> It was a metal piece on a fiberglass car and they never fit right. Right. So, a friend of ours already, I stole his idea. <laughs> okay. We moved it to the pillar. Show That's how our that opens guess. up. Please. So it's got this slot in it. We take a quarter, we open that up, it pulls out that handle. And then you just turn that handle until it opens up like so. Your gas filler. Just like that. And gives the smooth side to the car. Let me show the inside of it. Right? She's got that piece just like that. Okay. So it can breathe out that. Yes. Okay. That's really cool. And then it just pops right back in there like that and snugs up. Perfect. While we got the door open, let me just walk right around it for a second. So here's your entryway into the car. The wonderful wrapped feel. This door panel, and again, these seats are just, you can see my fingers it's squeezing around them. Just wonderful. Everything custom on this car and done so well. And then, of course, you've got the Chevrolet tag there, as it should be. Okay, I'm gonna keep that open so we can get in it when we start it. So now that we open the trunk, and put some toys in there for you. Look at the opposite elephant spears there. And we've got some trophies here. Well, go ahead. That's actually from the trophy dash of classic instruments for the year. We're the winner of it. So the instruments, they said you're the winner for the year. Grand With champion. those instruments we just saw. Grand champion. So here was a calendar of what the car would look like in back in its condition. day in stock condition and this Corvette service guide although you don't see the lat the uh, fake grilling on the hood or the louvers you were sharing with me Jim what was the status of this this is how they came at that time Pardon? this the servicing guide came without uh, the uh, grill on there like that correct okay and then this magazine here Vet, best of both ends. That's a subsidiary of Hot Rod. A subsidiary of Hot Rod in March of 2017. Okay, that's what the cover looked like inside. Rockin' Ruby. So I'll go slow enough that if people wanted to see that, they can read that. <clears throat> and of course, We've got the car here, as you can see. You can take your time, pause, the details, and of course, I'm going to take you to the engine, so I'm going to save that. Now, let's go to see the engine. These are all original components, too. Yes. They look so cool, don't they? Well, the, the lens is reproduction. Okay. They look so cool, though, how they stick out like that, don't they? Let's take a look under the hood. Here's the hard top, obviously. Like so. Clearly the best of both worlds. All of the old look with all of the new stuff. What size engine do we have? It's a 383 stroke. 383 stroke. Pumping out a right at 450 horsepower. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right. I'm it's actually got 
got a fast fuel injection system on it, mm -hmm. including their distributor and co cooling components front and for the mounting brackets for the alternator and air conditioner. You seem pretty subdued about this car. I'm a little more excited. Why is that? Never had the glory before. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I mean, you've had it for 35 years, but but it's so unique right now, isn't it? It it really is. It turned out a lot better than what we anticipated when we started. It. Yeah. Well, I got I, you. First of all, I know you're so humble, and I appreciate that, Jim. But let me see the other side of the car, and then let's let's fire it up, shall we? All right. All right. We've got your fan there. Now, Jim, what's happened with all the electronics, too? Are those all behind the fenders? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's fire it up, and I'll get the exhaust. Pardon? I said we just rocked the whole place. That was great. All right, Jim, come on out. Jim, I'll tell you, it was a real treat uh, videoing your car, having this member of your family and getting the chance to fire it up. It really sounded great. I'm really happy for you. If people like what they see, subscribe, hit the bell uh, to see all the videos. Jim, always a treat. Thanks for being on my car store. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. First recognition I ever had. Is that right? Well, the first time. No, my wife. <laughs> number two. Yes, number, number two. two. Hey, Jim, my pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you.